Hello and welcome to the race room rookie experience. I'm Jord and today we're going to be driving a Formula 4 car at the Hockenheim Ring National Circuit. I'm just going to have uh, my traditionally British uh, pre-race sip of tea and we're going to wait for those five red lights to go out. We were actually at the Hockenheim Ring just a couple of weeks ago in the Audi TTs and we got uh, punted into oblivion as is uh, often the case on the, the rookie lobbies but we'll see what this race has to bring for us uh, the five red lights turn green and off we go we got a pretty decent start actually we didn't lose any positions we get through T1 nice and safe and coming up to T2 now I'm kind of just in this big gaggle of cars here I'm just trying to defend us line really in case anyone goes for a big dive bomb and it uh, actually works out alright for us we gain a lot of time on this blue car ahead and I'm just going to have to keep an eye on his mirrors because uh, those cars aren't that far behind us so I go here for the, the kind of shorter track length option uh, we nearly get punted into the hairpin uh, but managed to avoid it. I did try and just get my nose past the blue car there, but uh, nothing we could really do. There's the green car re-overtakes him. So these two uh, battling right in front of us, and I'm just wanting to get through lap one cleanly, but uh, we end up getting caught up in this fight. And again, just keeping an eye on us mirrors behind. Uh, we don't want to end up losing a position because we're, we're fighting these guys. Again, I'm just having a look up the inside, but not committing to anything right, just right. yet. And so the car behind just gets his nose in front, but we, we get the better exit. It gives us a little tap, but it's uh, it's nothing substantial. The green car goes off, and three. once again, we're looking up the inside of this blue car, but just can't, like uh, can't find a gap through. V6. So here we come onto lap two. A uh, lap one, incident free in a, a rookie lobby it's a, a new record but of course this is a rookie lobby so uh, lap two uh, what we'll find happen is we'll get punted of course it wouldn't be a rookie lobby without getting punted so uh, let's just have another look at that that one me and the dark blue car fighting there we go tight on to the apex and the guy behind just bulldozes straight through Our us left. Possibly a bit of a bit of karma for me from uh, from last week when I accidentally did something very similar. Um, it wasn't intentional, but there we go. Some minor suspension damage. He says as uh, my car no longer steers in a straight line. As uh, a green car ahead goes off, and uh, we've got to try and fight our way back up the grid. Uh, so. Bit of a bit of a fight ahead of us. The red and white car goes a little bit right. wide. Clear we right. go for a, a nice little switcheroo move there. And uh, we've got the inside. So we're side by side going into this next corner. I break, go for the apex, and uh, yeah, the car behind decides to spin it. So uh, that's a, a position gained. That green car goes way too deep and uh, we're gonna go side by side again through the stadium section. I'm gonna get earlier on the brakes, go for a tighter line, a, another little switcheroo maneuver. I do like my switcheroos and uh, we're gonna catch up to the, the next car which uh, we do just a little bit later on, so this is the green and blue car I believe we were fighting with at the start, so yeah, back to where we started again, uh, see if we can get a move done past these guys, there's a, an orange car ahead of them as well who looks a little bit on the slower side, so uh, we'll just keep going, see what we can do, as uh, these guys fighting lets me get right onto the back of them, so I'm putting this green car under pressure, we get a good exit out of there and again side by side going into this corner so we get on the brakes, aim for that apex and we're still side by side as we come into the stadium section now and uh, he has the inside line here so I give him the space, let him pass try and get a better exit which we do manage to get and uh, we're right onto the back of him again I try my uh, little switcheroo manoeuvre 
and we get on his inside for this next corner but uh, again side by side and he gets the uh, the better exit so uh, we're back again behind them and we'll just try and regroup and wait for his, his next opportunity uh, to attack which isn't going to be that far away we are quicker than these these cars ahead so uh, I'm a little bit earlier on the brakes that lets us uh, get closer to that apex get a better line again I go a little bit wide just to make sure I leave the space then I decide I'm going to try and squeeze him as much as I can but he has the same idea a little bit of a tap but not substantial contact and uh, we're both going to get safely into this corner I was looking for a, a way through there, I was quicker than him through there, but he defends his line uh, really, really well. So once again, we just have to be patient and wait for a, our next Sector opportunity. Green flag. Uh, which happens on the Sector next lap, there's a, a black car that uh, has an incident, Green flag, you're clear. and the other two catch up to him but then he decides he's gonna just Yellow take flag. this green car right. out I end up right. going into him a little clear. rubber green than flag. us as I, I feel a little bit bad for him actually he did uh, he were doing a, a pretty good race he were racing really well so that was really unfortunate that the uh, the black car took him out and speaking of which okay, uh, this is where we are now we're gonna see if we can uh, avenge our fallen green car friend so looking up the inside, as the blue car in front uh, goes for a little spin. Uh, so we're going to get past him and now we're just looking for a way past this, uh, this black and gold car. As, uh, again, we get a really good exit out of that corner. I seem to be good round that corner. We go side by side once again. He get very close as he nearly, uh, nearly takes us out. But we backed out of it just in time. And uh, we're going to try get back onto his rear, uh, knowing you end up intended there. But again, I go for my little, uh, my little tight line through here, and we're going to make contact again. Now, this was, uh, if we have a look back, it was kind of my fault with this one. Uh, I saw the gap, went for it. I did feel like he might have been a little bit aggressive. He, he could have left me a bit of space, but... Uh, yeah, to be fair, uh, I didn't really have enough of my car alongside his to uh, to get the move done, so I should have backed out really. So that kind of was my fault, but I'm a bit frustrated. Uh, we come to the last lap now, and uh, we've caught back up to this this blue car uh, who had a spin earlier. Uh, it went back past us when. Uh, yeah, he went back past us when we had the incident with a black car, but we're on the last Yellow lap. Flag. We're on his tail and we know we're quicker than him. So we're going to see if we can get a, a last lap move done as a, a black car in front goes off. I'm not sure if Yellow that's the, the same clear. car that we had the incident with or not. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we're past him anyway. So we're trying to just catch up to this blue car, see if we can get a move past him. It's very difficult as my car is quite uh, quite damaged now the steering is way off that uh, I think it's the front left suspension the car would just not turn right so uh, it's gonna be very difficult we are quicker than him though uh, as we come to the stadium section the last couple of corners now see if we can find a move past I go from a nice wide line carry a lot of speed through that corner but we go just a bit too wide and uh, yeah nothing we're going to really be able to do there as we come now to the start finish line so a p10 finish bit of a frustrating race but uh, that's just how it goes sometimes anyway thank you very much for watching guys hit the buttons and i'll see you in the next one